Good morning. So I have some very unexpected news from Sweden. It's about immigration. People don't want to come here anymore. And a lot of them are leaving. It's true. Uh, this information comes from the government. We have a new government. We got rid of the last one, the Socialists and the Greens, in an election. We got rid of them. You know? And this new one is better. The old one was awful. This one is a bit better. <laughs> it's not good or brilliant or anything, it's just a bit better. You know? So they are talking about this. So they say it's been going down. And now they say for 2024, Sweden may receive the lowest number of asylum seekers since 1997. And for the first time in 50 years, Sweden has a net emigration. And it is about asylum seekers. You know, Swedes leave Sweden too. They want something else, right? But this is about asylum seekers. Right. Uh, the number of asylum applications is heading towards historically low levels. And they talk about last year. Iraq, for instance. Uh, it was negative numbers. So more people were leaving, you know, originally from Iraq. They left Sweden more than was coming in. You know? And some same thing with other countries like Somalia. I'm very surprised about this. So what's going on here? Well, the, the, the government, they talk about this thing we have in Sweden. You now, a guy from, let's say, Somalia, he can come here, register, and he will start to receive money, lots of money, taxpayers' money, right? And then he can go back and live in Somalia and still receive the money. Beautiful system, don't you think? So the government, they have been correcting this. It's brilliant. So, of course, this spreads, this information, right? This guy from Somalia, he talks to his friends. And he says, oh, I'm not getting any money anymore. You know? Maybe Sweden is not so good. You have to live there, you know? <laughs> no, but I think it's mainly the weather. Honestly, I do. We have these long winters, cold, snow, darkness, you know? So this guy from Somalia comes here and he says, wow, this is nice, I'm getting this money, I get this apartment here, beautiful. And then comes winter. <laughs> and he says, wow, it's damn cold here, isn't it? And snow and it's dark. Well, I'm getting out of here. I think this is the main one, actually. And the last winter, we got snow from November. And all the way, more or less, up until April, you know. So it's five, like five, six months of cold and darkness. So that's why I think it's the main reason. So, and but maybe also this, you know, some people came here for peace. You know, they had families, maybe. And they left some troubled areas, you know, let's go to Sweden, have some peace for our kids. And then they settled maybe in Malmö or some Stockholm suburb and after a while they said, oh, it's, maybe it's worse here. And it's damn cold too. Let's get out of here. And of course they talk to friends, right? They tell their stories. Oh, we moved to Sweden. Look at all the money that we're getting. This is our apartment, right? And then after a while, they start to talk about what was really happening there. And they show pictures of the snow. <laughs> See? So, I think this is the, why, this is re the reason. Uh, fewer people want to come here. And lots of them are leaving. Ah, I think it's a bit hilarious, actually. Now, where are they going? That's another question, right? I don't think they are leaving Europe. Eh, maybe some, 
go back to their homelands, right? But uh, I think many of them just go to Germany or Greece, maybe Greece, you know, Italy, Netherlands, France. Oh, it's better here. We don't have much snow here. It's nice. Let's stay here, you know. UK, they go to the UK. Spain, nice. So I don't think it's good news overall, right? It's just, this is going on in Sweden now. So what do you think about this? Now, my main problem is the, these people with a certain faith, and they really settled here. So maybe it's too late for Sweden. Uh, but if this trend continues, who knows, right? Maybe it's uh, going to change. We'll see. All right. I wish you a great weekend. Be good.